with our graphic organizer. We want to explore how do the settings in the pocket watch add to your understanding of the story. Complete the chart by comparing the setting and events of paragraph one with the setting and events of paragraphs three through six. So Amar is going to help us write. So first, if we're in paragraph one, where is the setting? A sunny, mild day. Ooh, and we forgot to say that it was in Concord, Massachusetts. So Amar, here under setting, why don't you write for us sunny, mild day? Sunny, you should be writing this in your books. It was a sunny, mild day. Awesome. Thank Good you. Job. And it's also important that we write that it was on a farm in Connecticut. C-O-N-N-E-C-T-I-U-C. -E and that is all in paragraph one. That it was on a sunny farm in Connecticut. All right. Now, so a barn and view of fields on a sunny and mild day on a farm in Connecticut. Now I'm going to go back to the text evidence we highlighted to see what events happened when she was at the barn. So I'll look at the pink that we highlighted. Well, oh, it said she was getting a pail of milk. And it said that she was walking around getting a pail of milk. So I'm going to write here, I'll write it in pink so we can remember, fetching, fetching a pail, that's like a bucket of milk. Awesome. Now I'm going to go on to paragraphs three through six. Where did they take place? Good thing our friends highlighted so many good ideas for us in paragraphs three through six. The setting is the dark dust, is the front room. Here we go, front room in paragraph three. You highlighted that for us. So the setting where I'm gonna write the front room. I think Zach highlighted that for us. And then Nua showed us that the front room was dark and dusty right here in paragraph three, Alex dark and dusty. It was dark and dusty. And then last but not least, the events. Hussein highlighted the events for us. The event was that they were getting in a fight over a timepiece. Remember, a timepiece is a pocket watch. So I'm going to write that in pink for our events. Brothers getting in a fight over a watch. Hmm, and I'm thinking to myself, what happened at the end? I'm going to go back to the text to see what happened at the end. What happened in the end, Noah? What did the mom say? Uh, she said, uh, where is it? Boys, said the mother, how can you fight over a timepiece when some of our neighbors had just lost their life fighting the British? Awesome. The Revolutionary War. So that's an important Good job. Event. So the mom, the mom reminds him, so the mom reminds the boys. And they stop fighting. Reminds the boys. The boys can I write it? to oh, be fine. thankful. That not to be thankful, right? That they're not fighting in the war right now. That they're not dead and not fight. So these are the settings and the events. And tomorrow in class, we will write a short answer response where we compare and contrast the setting and events in this story. Thank you very much. This All is right. our after school program. <laughs>